Telling Nagana honor killing, parents allegedly beat daughter to death for marrying outside of her caste. A 22-year-old woman, Pindi Anaruda of Kalamadugu Village, was allegedly beat, beaten to death by her parents and relatives for marrying her lover, Ayoru Lakshirajam, alias Lakshman, against their wishes. They had eloped earlier this month and got married. They came back three weeks later and were approached by the local, or I'm sorry, and approached the local police station that, uh, seeking protection. The police then escorted them and left them with the man's parents. And knowing the couple's arrival, the women's parents, together with other relatives, went to Lakshman's house and assaulted him. They took her out of the house and beat her on the streets until she died. They then took her body to the hillocks at Malapur village in Nirmal district and set it on fire. Police took her parents into custody. Anurada belongs to the uh, Padmashali community or the Weavers community and Lakshman belongs to the Yadava community. So they were, they were outside of caste, but were in love for, for a couple of years. And uh, they, where, where was by this acting again? on it. I'm sorry. Where was this again? This was in, in the uh, Kalamadugu village. Yeah. Fucking barbarians. And again, we're going to get a lot of comments by so-called Hindu atheists, which I still don't know what it means, but they're going to be like, oh, this has nothing to do with Hinduism. Uh, oh, this is Hinduism is a way of life. It's not a religion and all that nonsense. Uh, I mean, this is definitely ba it's based on the caste system, right? So they, uh, they, 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 she got married. He got married into a lower caste. Is that the case? Yes, correct. Yeah, and the caste system is definitely based on Hinduism. It's ba it's within uh, mm. their their ancient scripture. Anybody that tells you that the caste system is is not based on Hinduism is is bullshitting you. This is definitely. And people say, oh, Hinduism is not a re religion; it's a way of life. First of all, religion is a way of life, and yeah, Hinduism is a way of life, and it's a shitty way of life. Uh, and yeah, this is this is, and people say, oh, it's the culture; it's not a religion. Well, it's both, right? It's just mixed together. And this, yeah, it is a culture, and it's a fucking shitty culture, and it's a culture that needs to die. It's a worthless, barbaric, backward culture. Like fucking hell, man. And you know, the, a lot of people say, oh, but it's better now. The caste system is used to be a lot worse. Yeah, it's better now, but it needs. To, it, it's it's not. It's not done. It's, it's still a major problem in India. And this whole right. way of thinking needs to die. Anybody that argues against this needs to just rethink their priorities. Like, they, this is, first of all, I, whether you think this is based on Hinduism or not, can you agree, for, first of all, that this whole caste system needs to die? This whole, the, anything that, a, a, another thing is that people try to blame this on, um, uh, you know, modern uh, trends and like some something you know if it, it, all a lot of the problems that uh, is happening with Hindu nationalism or Hindu extremism in India they try to blame it on um, you know y y the British imperialism just this, exactly the same way that Muslims try to blame uh, a lot of the problems in the Islamic world based on uh, Western imperialism. But again, nobody is excusing anything that um, ancient empires did. Uh, but take some fucking responsibility for your backward bar barbaric ideology. I mean, come on, this is fucking idiotic. And again, a lot of people are saying like, oh, but what about the Muslims in India? They are worse. Their Islam is worse. Okay, fine. Yeah, Hinduism is not as bad as, is bad as Islam. But again, every time I have to clarify it, you don't have to be as bad as Islam for it to... Be for it to be a shitty backward ideology, if if the if the only defense that you have to ideology is that you're better than Islam, then you must be a shitty ideology because it doesn't take much to be better than Islam. Anyways, let me see. Um, Jim, did you want to add anything to this? No, no, that's that, that just about covered it. Um. Okay, this is. <clears throat> The, the top comment I don't like, it says the land of no personal hygiene and rape. That's that's not fair, I think. Um, I mean, I think that uh, the hygiene part is mostly as a result of poverty. Um, yeah, I mean, but, the, but where in India where you don't have poverty, you do, you do have personal hygiene. And, um, but a, a, lot of, 
when they say land of raid, a lot of people deny this, but India does have a problem when it comes to uh, safety of women. It has a huge problem with that. And every time you mention that, again, a lot of this, a lot of people in India, a lot of. Uh, to be fair, there's a lot of activists in Indi India that their entire f activism is focused on addressing these issues, right? So this is not about, um, you know, saying this is not about shitting on India because there's a lot of people in India that actively are fighting against <coughs> these things. <There> are, <coughs> India has this... Uh, uh, Asia, India has a huge share of it, atheist activists and other forms of activists, human rights activists, women rights activists, and they're all growing and they're all doing a very good job. But unfortunately, they have a, uh, they, they, their job is made mu very much difficult because of national, n national pride and religious pride and ethnic pride because of these kind of uh, the pride people have usually makes uh, ma makes them want to deny the problems their country or their ideology is having and they, it, because of that pride a lot of the activists in India that are trying to address these things are having even a, <laughs> are having a problem even bringing attention to these issues because of their, a lot of the deniers that these are some major issues in their country, right? And every time, you know, this is a, a classic whataboutism happens. Every time you point out the problems in India, people from India, a lot of people from India say like, oh, but what about these other countries? Well, what about these other countries? You, your country is having problems. Some people are trying to fix it and you're just trying shifting the attention to somewhere else. Um, I am... Ian or Ian, I don't know. Uh, Clark is saying there is no honor in killing your family. Yeah, I mean, again, this is this show. This shows you that Islam doesn't have a monopoly over honor killing, right? But again, we don't just because we say Islam doesn't have a monopoly, we don't. <coughs> Jim, do you need to get a glass of water? No, I'm good. Okay, just just because we're not saying that Islam doesn't have a monopoly. Just because we're admitting that other religions have problem, we're not we're not denying the fact that Islam has. When it comes to Islam, this is a bigger issue. Okay, yes, we know Islam it has a bigger issue when it comes to honor killing and when it comes to hate crimes. Uh, Islam Islam wins when it comes to barbarity among most of these other ideologies, if not all of them. Okay, so we're not denying that, but again. Your ideology is shit, and we need to point out that it's shit. Um, this will happen to me one day. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for you if you feel that way. Uh, Shalini is saying that I think she must be from India. Uh, this is a nation with atomic weapons and space program. Again, India is a very, very uh, <laughs> big country. And nobody is denying the achievements of India, okay? I mean, they... But... Uh, and you know when it comes to technology when it comes to entrepreneurship when it comes to um you know space programs and all that stuff but just because you, you if you don't want to deny the achievements of india you shouldn't also deny the problems that you're having and you shouldn't deny the activists that you have in your own community trying to fix these things and your pride your national pride and your religious pride is making it more difficult for them uh that should teach her oh my god that's a cruel joke let me see if there's anything on the youtube live chat for me to read okay pakistani atheist is saying if the rest of the world adopted western values such as the concept of the individual over the collective like japan and israel have the world would be a far better place Pakistani atheists, uh, I agree with that, but I wonder if we, instead of calling it Western values, and I'm not sure about this, if we just refer to them as Enlightenment values, it would yeah, be easy. Yeah, because those aren't. Wait. Yeah, those aren't at all Western values. No, uh, they are Western like values because they got popularized in West in the, in the West uh, during the Enlightenment era, right? But well, yeah, it, during during, during the, the the Enlightenment era, yeah, that's when they were popularized, but they're not in use, like in the Americas, for instance, like yeah, uh, like, like uh, caring about the individual over the collective yeah but my point my point was that i see why would they refer to as western value given when where they got originated from uh but maybe if we refer to them as enlightenment values then we emphasize on the fact that 
their the, the place they originated from doesn't mean that they belong to that place. These are values that work right. everywhere, so they belong to the entire planet. Atheists around the world are choosing to give voice to their opinions and no longer hide their lack of religious beliefs. In some cases, this public declaration of atheism can lead to backlash from friends and family. In other areas, it can even be physically dangerous to admit to atheism. Atheist Republic wants to give atheists a louder voice. Let's show them that we're listening, no matter which language they speak. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Spanish, Persian, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. Help us get there at patreon.com forward slash atheist republic.